Hello everybody, how you doing? Have you been looking for me? Well, guess what? You found me in the kitchen with Angela, your Creole Roots girl. I'm right here. Thank you for joining me. This is Mother's Day weekend. We doing all things New Orleans style. Yes, you know it. I'm from New Orleans, so we doing all things New Orleans style. I'm, prepared, I'm prepping for this weekend, of course. I'm always prepping on weekends. It helps out during the week or it helps out for a party. So I'm joining my sister. Tomorrow, we're gonna share Mother's Day plus my niece's birthday. I got some wings on deck. Yep, drumettes, party wings basically, okay? So I'm gonna do it my way, my style. I'm gonna take uh, and do a little spicy twist sort of like an Asian style orange chicken wing. Uh, I'm not gonna be using any Creole season today, but I'm gonna be using Slap Your Mama. Now this stuff is kind of spicy. This is the hot blend, okay? If you can see that, you see it says hot blend. So we adding some fire to the oven today. Of course, I'm baking my wings. I'm not gonna fry them or anything. I still try to remain a healthy lifestyle. And I'm gonna be using some sweet orange marmalade. I'm gonna be using some pepper jelly. And I'm gonna be using ginger. And I'm gonna also be using barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna mix my little roux together. We're gonna season these wings up. I already cleaned them up separated them and everything. We're gonna put them on a 375 degree oven and we're gonna bake them for an hour because I want them to crisp up and caramelize, okay? So I'm just gonna start by using Slap Your Mama, not my mama, but your mama. So I got these wings. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that heat to them. And like I said, this is gonna be bursting with flavor. And this has everything to do with how you want your recipes, okay? Not how I want my recipes or the next person. It's about your palate and what you like. So I'm just adding a little heat to my wings with slap your mama. Again, not your mama. Not my mama, but maybe your mama. But I got this. It's all ready. I'm gonna go ahead and season them. And then we're gonna we're gonna put them all together. We're gonna blend them together. I'm using ginger. Okay, this is by body. I didn't want to do any fresh herbs or anything, but this will work out just fine. So it's gonna this ginger, this ground ginger is really good. So we're not missing anything by having the fresh ingredients, but it's always good. But I wanted to make it simple for those people who are not really in the kitchen often and they wanna do something special for their mom. This is a good way to do it without having to be in the kitchen long, chopping up stuff. If you're just a person who don't wanna cook, but since it's Mother's Day, you're gonna do something in the kitchen. This is a good recipe for that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and blend these up. I'm gonna have to wash my hands up, of course. I'm gonna use a little hot pepper flakes too. I'm gonna put it in the barbecue sauce. And that was about two teaspoons, okay? So, I got my good old pan mixer. <laughs> got a spoon. We don't want to cross contaminate. We're dealing with chicken. So I got to have make sure everything's prepped correctly, okay? So I got my two spoons. I don't want to contaminate the two different things, you know. So we're going to use two different spoons because those are two 
type of different things. We're doing wings today. It's gonna be about an hour. The prep time is really simple. And I should add some garlic, one second. Got my garlic powder. I'm gonna add my garlic on here. Okay, so gonna mix all this up. Make sure all my wings are covered with the seasoning and since I'm not barbecuing anything I'm just gonna do this through the oven so we're gonna bake this in the oven you guys and you know I like to show you my finishing touches of course so I'm just putting all in you can marinate these overnight you can marinate them for a couple of days in the fridge you know but me for the sake of time, just say I did it, okay? Just say I did that, all right? So we're gonna get these wings. After I wash my hands, we're gonna put all, this, all of the marinades together, put them in the oven for an hour. Okay, so they're pretty seasoned up. I got all my wings ready. See the seasoning on there? Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead. <clears throat> and I'm going to get my pepper jelly. I did two heaping tablespoons of the pepper jelly. Okay. Put that in the barbecue sauce. And then I'm gonna get, this is the good stuff here. I'm gonna use mostly all of this too. At least the half of a jar, which is, which is about, I guess you would say one full measuring cup. Here you have it. I want that orange flavor in there, but I also want the spice, okay? And I love the orange marmalade because it has all those lumps of oranges in there. It's a good blend. I'm gonna drop that down. And we're gonna get it over here too. And you saw I didn't all the way wash my hands and the reason why, because I'm gonna go ahead and dip right back in that chicken, okay? I'm gonna dip right back in the chicken. And this is a very simple dish. It's full of flavor, it has bite, it has kick to it. And you just put it right in the oven don't cover it with foil or anything. You want the seasonings and everything to just marry together. You can baste it if you like. But this is my version of some Asian style wings. Very simple. I didn't want to use any soy sauces or anything that you could have used liquid aminos, but uh, it's okay. I got this covered like this. This was an awesome dish. I did it for my son's party and everybody fell in love with the wings that I had. So if you want to make a little extra sauce, you can. Okay. So there you go, there you have it. That's my style, my kitchen, my way, right? All 
Things New Orleans. This is In the Kitchen with Angela Creole Roots. I always keep some sort of towel or paper towel handy. Okay, drying my hands. I'm gonna go ahead and put these chickens in the oven. Okay. And we're gonna let these cook for an hour. Like I said, we want them to caramelize and get crusty. And they're gonna go right in the oven. And we're gonna let them cook for that hour. We'll come back to you. Let you see the finishing touches and how beautiful this turns out. So, thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen. This is a fast, unique way to do some wings, party wings for Mother's Day. If you're trying to cook something for your mother, make it something simple that she's not used to you doing or you're not used to doing because you're just not that great of a cook or you just don't want to cook. But since it's Mother Day, you, Mother's Day, you decided to do something for your mom. It'll taste really well. Very tasty meal. Just some make some sandwiches, some party wings, some meatballs, things like that. And there you have it. A great Mother's Day with some flowers. Thank you so much for joining my channel. If you like what I do in my kitchen, you can subscribe, invite others to subscribe to my channel, like, you can comment, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. This is Creole Roots Washington in the kitchen with Angela. You have a wonderful Mother's Day. Bye.